The year was 1692, a time when shadows stretched long and suspicion festered like a hidden wound in the heart of Salem Village. The late afternoon sun dipped below the jagged horizon, casting the village in a melancholic glow. Wisps of smoke curled from chimneys, carrying the scent of wood smoke and simmering stew. Young Goodman Brown, a man of sturdy build and a furrowed brow, emerged from his modest home, his heart a tangled knot of apprehension and duty. Faith, his beloved wife, stood framed in the doorway, her face a portrait of youthful beauty and concern. Her gentle brown eyes, usually sparkling with warmth, held a tremor of worry. Her hair, the color of sun-kissed wheat, was adorned with delicate pink ribbons, a stark contrast to the somber mood that hung heavy in the air. Dearest Goodman, she implored, her voice a soft melody tinged with apprehension. Please, stay this night. Let the day break upon our journey together. Goodman Brown's heart ached. The sight of faith, so pure and trusting, made venturing into the encroaching darkness a bitter pill to swallow. He yearned to hold her close, to find solace in the warmth of their shared hearth. Yet, a silent determination hardened his features. This mysterious summons, shrouded in secrecy and whispered promises, demanded his attention. Tonight, my love, requires me to walk a solitary path, he replied his voice firm yet laced with regret. Each word felt like a pebble dropped into a still pond, rippling the fragile peace of their home. Pray for me, dear Faith, and retire early. Have faith that all will be well. With a heavy heart, Goodman Brown turned away from the light streaming from their window. Even so, a lingering gaze caught Faith's silhouette, the pink ribbons swaying gently in the twilight breeze. A pang of guilt gnawed at him. Poor Faith, he muttered, his voice barely a whisper. Alone on this night of all nights. But I must go. Upon my return, I shall shield you from all harm forevermore. Resolve settling upon his shoulders, Goodman Brown strode towards a path shrouded in shadows. The village, usually a place of bustling activity and familiar faces, seemed to hold its breath as he passed. Whispers followed him like phantoms, laced with curiosity and a hint of fear. The air, thick with unspoken accusations and simmering tensions, felt heavy on his lungs. The path, barely a track through the encroaching forest, twisted and turned, leading him deeper into an unsettling darkness. Towering trees, gnarled and ancient, cast grotesque silhouettes onto the forest floor. As he ventured deeper, the weight of his unease grew heavier with each step. The silence, broken only by the rustle of unseen creatures and the hooting of an owl, amplified his anxieties. What horrors might lurk within these shadows, he questioned aloud, his voice echoing eerily in the stillness. His mind conjured images of spectral figures twisted branches clawing at him, and unseen eyes watching his every move. He clutched the worn leather satchel at his side, a meager comfort against the vastness of the unknown. Suddenly, from the inky depths of the woods, a figure materialized. An elderly man, 
with a face etched with the wisdom of years and a beard that flowed down his chest like a snowy waterfall, emerged. Leaning on a staff that seemed to writhe like a living serpent, he radiated an air of otherworldly power. Despite initial apprehension, Goodman Brown found himself strangely drawn into conversation. The stranger's eyes, pools of unsettling emerald green, held Goodman Brown captive. His voice, a low rumble that seemed to come from the depths of the earth itself, resonated with an unnerving familiarity. Their conversation began with seemingly innocuous topics, the weather, the changing seasons, and the health of Goodman Brown's livestock. But as they spoke, the stranger's gaze lingered on the worn silver buckle on Goodman Brown's belt, an heirloom passed down through generations. A fine piece, that buckle, the stranger remarked, his voice laced with a knowing smile. A symbol of your family's legacy, wouldn't you say? Goodman Brown felt a shiver crawl up his spine. The buckle wasn't just an heirloom, it was rumored to hold a dark secret, a whisper of a pact made with the devil himself by one of his ancestors. The stranger's knowledge of such a personal detail sent a jolt of fear through him. Their discourse delved into profound territories, the strength of faith, the sanctity of family bonds, and the dark secrets that fester within the human heart. The stranger spoke of Goodman Brown's ancestors, whispering tales of clandestine encounters beneath the cloak of night, hinting at a darkness that ran deeper than Goodman Brown ever imagined. He spoke of accusations of witchcraft, of whispers of forbidden knowledge, 